So it's lovely to have you here again. It's so nice to be able to offer these weekly. Um, I'm really looking forward to sort of like the energy building. And those of you that can come regularly, obviously you don't have to come regularly. Um, whenever you can, just pop in. Um, but with you know, the more you come, I think the more you benefit from it. I think healing's very accumulative, and um, the more we get into that flow of it, uh, the more beneficial it can be. Um, so I've got a little bit of a cough, so you're going to see me constantly inhaling. If you're wondering what I'm doing, it's Raven Sara oil, which is really powerful for my chest. And I've also got I've got my um, platonic solids with me. I thought I'd show them to you this week because um, I'm using the sacred geometry in the um, in the healing. So that's these are just some of the um, platonic solids. I don't know if you can see. We've got a tetrahedron, a dodecahedron, the Merkaba, which is um, a beautiful one, as well as some pretty standard shapes like a sphere and a cube. I've got seven of these. There's five platonic solids, um, but a couple of these are extra. There's that one as well. And these are in rose quartz, which I love. <coughs> I've got a few sets of these now, and I use these. Oh, you're not getting any sound. Can everyone else hear me okay? Hi, yeah. yeah. Um, Sue, sometimes the best thing to do if you've got a glitch is just leave and come back in again. So leave the Zoom and then come back. And if there's a waiting room, I'll let you in. Oh, hang on, let me, let me, um, she can't hear me, can I? I'm telling her that, but she can't hear me. <laughs> Try going out and in again. Leave and come back. Often that's what you need. That's it. So go out and come in. <laughs> okay, so yes, yeah, so I'm using these platonic solids um, <coughs> and the sacred geometry with Metatron to do this really beautiful um angelic light bath calling it a light bath a bit like a gong bath a bit like a sound bath but light um, and this is different from anything i've done before so what i did last week and what i've done tonight and what i'm going to do tonight if you joined any of the sound um if you joined any of the healing meditations that we did um i did with annabelle she's she's going to try and join soon she nearly joined tonight but she ended up busy um uh it's it's quite different it's not reiki what i'm doing um, and it's something that since last March, Archangel Metatron has been um, sort of teaching me and working with me, um, showing me how to do this sort of this technique really on you all. And it's quite involved. There's quite a bit to do. So that's why I spend quite a lot of time um, um, actually in silence. So if you joined the meditations in the past, there would have been a lot more guided meditation and then maybe just a little bit of the actual healing. Tonight, there's quite a lot of the actual healing. So there's quite a lot of me just quietly sitting and working through the technique and with the geometry and making sure it's nice because we're not too busy. Um, how many have I got of you tonight? Uh, nine of you. So it, it's quite nice. I can sort of focus on each of you and really work strongly in, into that. Oh, hi, Katie. <coughs> nice to have you here, Katie. Hi, lovely to have you here. Brilliant. So um, let's get started. I'm going to mute you all. Or if you're near your screen, feel free just to press mute. And the most important thing <coughs> for you to do, the most important way, the only participation that is involved for you is to be really comfortable. So take your time to do that now, okay? So take your time to get comfortable. Get cozy. Last week, a couple of people got really cold so maybe make sure you've got a blanket um, near you just in case. Interesting. <coughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay. <coughs> right. So get super comfy and just bring your left hand onto your heart for me. I just want you to take a moment just to close your eyes and just offer up your intention for what you feel you need healing for this evening. So it sounds like a few of you felt that tonight came just at the right moment. So it could well be that you're really feeling the need for some healing of some kind. So just offering up, if you're, it's very likely with this rare triple conjunction of Uranus, Mars and <coughs> the North Node, which is our collective destiny, it's very likely that you're feeling a lot. Could be that you're feeling a lot in your body, could be that you're feeling quite a lot of fiery heat or eruptive sort of energy in your heart or your solar plexus. And I just want to assure you that that's okay and not to worry. You're not the only one. And I also want to assure you that sometimes the best thing that we can do when we feel pain, emotional pain or suffering in our bodies is allow it to be there and process it rather than running away from it. So a healing, you know, 40 minutes of healing is a great opportunity to really try to allow that. It's not always the case, and I'm not going to suggest that that is always the best thing. Um, if you're really suffering at this time, sometimes it's a bit too much. But I, I'm going to ask for this healing for all of you to be an opportunity for anything like that to be released any really powerful intense energy to be released so just take a moment just to just to be in silence and to just allow yourself to connect to your intention And now that your eyes are closed, just let them stay closed. Just let them, let the eyelids sink and soften. Let the eyeballs sink back into their sockets as you relax. And start to feel your body letting go of tension. Just start to feel that first layer of letting go. just going to call in my team that I work with calling in Archangel Metatron and the way that I <coughs> I work with him is that we call you in we draw your energy in to what he calls a light box or a light container so it's like a sort of space that him and I come into he stands opposite me opening out his hands and inviting in that light energy and then I invite all of you in so I just want you to imagine a light around you now. I want you to imagine that you're cocooned in a beautiful light. It's a white golden light today, really beautiful white golden light. It's a circle of it with quite a nice deep rim, a rim of light around the edge that is a beautiful gold, a beautiful yellowy gold energy. So I want you to imagine that around yourself. And I'm going to imagine all of you in it. So. I'm going to imagine Alec and Anna and Debbie and Denise and Hannah and Katie and Nikki and Ruth, sorry, Megan and Sarah and Sharon. I was just reading off the list there and forgetting that was Megan. Good. So I'm just inviting you all in to that light space, to that container of light. And just allow yourselves to be taken. Breathing deep and heavily.
And there's a real expansive energy in this light box, in this light container this evening, a really expansive energy that's opening us up out of any sense of contraction in the body, pain and suffering in the body, especially emotional sensation can often feel like a contraction, like you're being squeezed. You might want to actually imagine that, that squeeze wherever you're feeling any discomfort in your body. And I want you to take a deep breath in and as you exhale, imagine expansion. So imagine that contraction being opened up, there being a space made around your body from the inside out. <coughs> So I'm going to talk you through a body scan, a nice gentle body scan <coughs> just to get you to really soften and relax so that your energy is more easy to work through with the, with the sacred geometry, with the light and the healing finds its way into your being more easily. So we're just going to begin down at the toes, just beginning down at the toes and really sensing that you can release your big toes, your second toes, your third toes, <coughs> your fourth toes and your fifth toes on both feet. Softening and relaxing the soles of the feet and the tops of the feet. Softening and relaxing the heels into the ankles. Softening and relaxing up through the calves and the shins, right leg and left. Softening the knees, right knee, left knee, <coughs> and the back of the knee, both knees. And then feel that you can soften around your thighs, so tops of the thighs. Softening around the outside of the thighs, the inside of the thighs, and the back of the thighs. And then feel that you're softening up into your hips, feeling your sit bones releasing into the chair or the bed or the floor. Feeling the lower abdomen releasing and relaxing. Feel the whole of the lower back, so the sides of the lower back, the spine. Feeling the belly relaxing into the navel, the upper abdomen just up to where the ribs meet. And feel that you're softening across your shoulder blades and across your chest. Feel that you're softening up to the tops of your shoulders and up to your collarbone. And then we're just gonna imagine that the arms are becoming very heavy and relaxed from the, from the top of the shoulder down the upper arm to the elbow. The elbows on both sides, down through the forearms, into the wrists. And then down into both hands, the palms of both hands, the backs of both hands. Into the thumbs, the index fingers, 
the middle fingers, the ring fingers, and the baby fingers. <clears throat> You're then going to draw your awareness all the way back the arms, through the shoulders, into your throat and into the back of the neck. From the back of the neck we're going to move up into the head and I want you to really feel your head is heavy, whether you're seated or your head's resting back. Just feel the head heavy and letting go through the back of the head, to the top of the head, into the crown, down over the forehead and just, just allow your awareness to sit for a moment at your third eye, your Ajna Chakra, right at the centre of the forehead between the eyebrows. As we pause here, I want you to really notice any sensation that you can feel there at your forehead, at your third eye. Really tuning in to that third eye centre, a powerful centre, particularly at this time. A lot of people really finding that they're more able to tune into their intuition their psychic ability, their dreams. I'm feeling you can let go into this third eye space. You can really let go into that magical space, the mythical, mysterious space that is the third eye centre, the pineal gland. Relax into it. Letting go of any doubt that you are able to open at your third eye, you are able to see through your third eye. And just no doubt that you are all able and born with that ability. It's just a case of remembering. And as you hold your awareness there at your third eye, just feel that spreading, that awareness spreading around your forehead now. Imagine almost like a spiral coming out of your third eye in a clockwise direction around your forehead, spiralling out like a light at your forehead, spiralling. Imagine it spiralling around your forehead and it's becoming like a 3D, it's becoming like a 3D spiral, so it's actually moving out beyond your forehead into the space around and in front of your third eye centre, so it's spiralling outwards. Just imagine that if you can. <coughs> and then just let go of that spiralling image, just allow that spiral to be imprinted there on your forehead. We're just going to leave it there, imprinted, as you bring your awareness to your temples and to your eyebrows, <coughs> down over your eyes and your temples. Down over your cheeks and your nose, into your ears and down over your upper lip, into your <coughs> lower lip, your chin and your jaw, feeling the whole of the face soft and relaxed now, really softly relaxed. I want you to take your awareness back down your body now, back down into your base chakra, your muladhara, your earth, your root. So down into your hips, 
into the base of your spine. I want you to imagine here a really bright red light, a red energy at your base. lit up like a light's been switched on at your root. I want you to imagine that you take your awareness up a little way to that sacral centre, Savistana, just below the navel. I want you to imagine here the colour orange, like a beautiful bright orange light within your lower abdomen. And then bringing your awareness up to your solar plexus, your Manipura chakra. And imagining here a beautiful bright yellow light lit up like a sunshine inside you. And then bringing your awareness up to your heart. And imagining here a beautiful green light. Like it's just been switched on, like a beautiful emerald green. Switched on at your heart. Really bright. Now bringing your awareness up to your throat. Imagining here <coughs> a beautiful turquoise light. Bright, bright turquoise. Shining brightly there at your throat. And then bring your awareness back up to that third eye centre where we envisage that spiral. You can see that spiral again, but now it's an indigo. It's an indigo light spiralling there at your third eye. Really bright indigo there at your third eye. Notice any sensation, any pulsing, any experience at all there at the third eye. And then bringing your awareness up to the crown of your head. I want you to imagine here that the crown of your head is opened, a little bit like a lotus flower, opening up like petals, opening up one by one. Opening, opening up. And that here you have a beautiful white golden light pouring in through the crown of your head. And this white golden light is pouring down behind each of those healing chakra lights that we've created to brighten them up even more. So coming down behind the third eye to brighten that indigo, down behind the throat to brighten that turquoise, down behind the heart to brighten that green, down behind the solar plexus to brighten that yellow, down through and behind the sacral to brighten that orange and all the way down behind the earth chakra to brighten that red. And feeling that you're now in balance, you are aligned in your energy centers, you're aligned through the elements of earth, water, fire, air, ether and spirit into divine source. You are held here in this light box with Metatron and I, your soul, your energy. And in a moment I'm going to begin working with the light bath, taking this energy down through each of your chakras, bringing healing and aligning each of your chakras. And then taking you on a soul journey through multi-dimensions, helping to heal and clear 
any cords that are holding you back in this life, keeping you attached to anything negative that is no longer serving you in this life, that you're ready to release now. Clearing any dark energies that have been picked up through your karmic journey, through your karmic path. Helping to clear any contracts that you've made in other lifetimes or in this lifetime that are still burdening you and that now need to be released. Helping to clear original wounds, wounds that you were born with many, many lifetimes ago and that you've been carrying with you until you arrived here, ready to release them. Particularly now with the Chiron retrograde energy that we're in and have been now for about 10 days. We're also going to work to comfort and soothe any strong fiery eruptive energy that is causing you difficulties at this time as we approach the triple conjunction of Uranus, Mars and North Node on Sunday and Monday this week. But the process of that triple conjunction is not just when it's exact on the day, it's happening months and months around this rare time. We're also going to use this opportunity of the new moon in Leo to help to bring in new energy from you, new beginnings, an opportunity for a fresh start, to let go of the past. So I'm just going to leave you now in silence. The next time you'll hear my voice will be when I'll be asking you to come back. So please just enjoy and remain still if you can.
I just want you all to imagine now <clears throat> you're being wrapped in a beautiful angelic blanket of gentleness and kindness and love. A blanket of light, a blanket of healing around your body in its entirety. So you can imagine that blanket just softly laying on your skin, or you can imagine it quite heavy if you prefer, quite heavy, almost like it's squeezing you in a nice way, in a, in a nourishing way. It helps you to feel <clears throat> held. Just feel that, that that blanket of light is just holding you in love, in a deep and beautiful love. And just allowing any residue of suffering in your body <coughs> just drain out now, just drain out through the back of your body down into the earth, out of the feet. And just start to focus into your breath, just focus into your inhale and your exhale. And breathe deep down into your belly, really deep belly breaths. Take that inhale right down, fill your lungs. And as you exhale, just really feel every muscle, every cell of your body is relaxed. Now before I invite you back, I just want to give you the option to, to not come back. Feel free to just stay as you are if you're fast asleep or if you're just really comfortable and enjoying the the sensations and the vibrations of the healing, they will continue after this session. So if you want to just feel free to stay exactly where you are, I'll turn you off. If you're watching this live, I'll turn your camera off. Otherwise, if you are coming back, each breath you take, I want, to feel, I want you to feel like the inhale you're actually breathing that healing light into your body with your inhale and letting go on your exhale. And I want you to feel that you can continue that for the rest of the evening into tomorrow over the weekend. Just feeling that each breath in is an opportunity to breathe in healing light, prana, shakti into your body. And that you have a connection to this abundant, infinite source of healing whenever you need it through your breath. And you can also <coughs> just call on me or call on our Archangel Metatron whenever you need, whenever you need support. 
just feeling that this session does not end here and that you can take this healing light with you now whenever you need it to support you over the coming week. So if you are coming back, <clears throat> we're just going to gently start to move the fingers and toes first, just wiggling fingers and toes and starting to feel those parts of your body again. Perhaps rotate out your wrists and your ankles. Maybe give the <coughs> hands a bit of a shake if it feels like they've gone a bit numb, or you've got pins and needles in them. And then maybe have a stretch. You could reach the arms up. Have a stretch. Maybe some deeper breaths or a yawn or a big sigh. Move the head a little bit. And then if you're lying down, you could hug your knees into your chest and give them a squeeze. If you're sitting up, let's just roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders round. And then keeping your eyes closed, just a few more moments. If you're coming up, you can gently bring yourself up to sit. If you're staying where you are, don't move, I'll turn you off. So if you come up to sit, just bringing the hands together at the heart, keeping your eyes closed another moment. And I'm just offering up some gratitude for any healing that's been received this evening. Holding that vibration of gratitude, which is the highest vibration, the highest frequency. Always gratitude for whatever happens any day, no matter what <coughs> the challenges, the hard times, as well as the joys. Trusting that we are all on a healing journey. And trusting that wherever we are in that healing journey, nothing ever stays the same for too long like a, a circle, a cyclical cycle that we're in. You can't go too far up before you have to come down. You can't go too far down before you have to go back up. So wherever you are in that, in that cycle at the moment, just trusting that things will change. So holding on to the joys and the blessings, enjoying them, having gratitude for them, and trusting that when you're feeling sorrow or suffering, life is challenging, that change will soon come. And gratitude for what we learn, the real learning and healing and evolving that happens when we're struggling. Just having trust that all is well, all is in hand, all is exactly as it should be. Your angels are trying to give you the message now that whatever's happening in your life, it had to happen. It had to happen to bring you to here. They just needed to bring you to here. So we're going to rub the hands together, <coughs> just building up a little heat in those palms. And then bring the hands over your eyes and let them sit there a moment. Start to blink your eyes open as you let in some light. And then bring the hands down when you're ready. Namaste everyone. Blessings to you all. Oh, I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope everyone's feeling okay. Those of you that came back, those of you that stayed where you are. Do enjoy your sleep. <laughs>